There are plenty of creepy crawlers outside Corey's house. This Victoria resident says they are eating her garden and she has the leaves to prove it, or absence of leaves. It's bad enough that if they continue to live in these trees, they do always come into the backyard. Corey's caterpillars come from trees on the boulevard in front of her home. These trees are on City of Victoria property. Corey wants to know, can she cut the caterpillars down? People tend to be too aggressive in their pruning and cut too much off the tree, and then they can do more damage than the insects would have if they'd left them. Are people allowed to cut the insects off branches if they're City of Victoria trees? No, they're not. Actually, they're not allowed to touch our city trees at all. There is a particular outburst of these crawlers on South Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands. They set up their tents at the beginning of May and expand as the weather gets warmer. They will eventually emerge as moths and mate. It's part of a, a natural 10-year cycle, and we just happen to be in the last couple of years more or less at the, at the peak of the cycle. So uh, over the course of a few years, we can go from virtually no caterpillars or, or none to be seen to maybe a thousand times as many. So it's often sort of two to three years of high densities, and then the population can go down quite dramatically. As reported on Czech News earlier this week, Nanaimo's caterpillar population has soared. It's probably the worst infestation that we've had in Nanaimo in over 20 years. Because of municipal pesticide bylaws, you can't use many chemicals to rid your trees of caterpillars, but you can use this, a biological insecticide. If you spray caterpillars with BTK, they won't die, but if you spray the leaves they eat, they're done. You see the explosion of the, the caterpillars and we're selling BTK like crazy people are coming in. BTK has been used in aerial spraying over parts of Vancouver Island in the past to control the gypsy moth. And Nickel says it's harmless to us and our pets. It doesn't do anything to humans or dogs or birds or anything like that. The last caterpillar population explosion on Vancouver Island was 2004. They're back and will be around for a couple of years until they decline in nature's natural cycle.